Liara Tassoni is the only character that has been confirmed as returning for the next Mass Effect game. She has appeared in both the revealed teaser trailer all the way back from 2020, the one that was shown at the Game Awards, and the N7 Day Secret Transmission from last year. But in today's video I'm going to be breaking down Liara Tassoni and how old she is in this particular scene and if she is actually older in the next game which could indicate both the plot as well as the time frame. Lockhart QT if we can break down and confirm the fact that Liara is older, we can also work out when the next game is set and what galaxy the next game is set in, either the Milky Way galaxy or the Andromeda galaxy. So the debate that's been going on both in my comment section as well as other Mass Effect YouTubers comment sections for the ages is essentially whether or not Liara is considerably older in this shot from the teaser trailer, you know, the one where she picks up the N7 logo on the armour. To me it looks like she's older with crow's feet, wrinkles and slight blemishes in her eyes and on her face. But some people don't agree with this statement and the fact that you can see this on screen because it hasn't really been confirmed. But when I've been researching into this topic and I've been playing the trailer back and forth to have a look if this is indeed the case, I found a sort of official statement by Bioware on this topic. There isn't much to go on and they haven't technically officially mentioned it themselves, but we have this Game Informer interview to go off and I'll, I'll play it on screen now for you. And I feel like if you're interested in the future, obviously we know Liara's much older. Uh, I would put her at her now around 800 years, um, given off the trailer and also I've confirmed that, that she's much older with the Bioware devs as well. So we know it's very much set in the future. And so like, I feel like the ending of the- as we heard right here in the footage, this person from Game Informer claims that Bioware has stated to them the fact that Liara is older in the trailer and that's been confirmed by Bioware. Obviously take this with a grain of salt, but this does come from Game Informer who are really a trusted source of gaming journalism uh, with real sources in the industry. They, like IGN and others, they have been covering the game industry for ages and they have been known to cover games like Andromeda as well as the original trilogy as well as the legendary edition of Mass Effect. So. You know, this was also all the way back from May 2021, so again, take this with a grain of salt. Uh, also, this is a game in development, the next Mass Effect, so things from this trailer could actually not appear at all in the final game that could be drastically altered. So with knowing this and taking this into consideration, the model used for Liara in the next game could have changed with wrinkles, blemishes that we've never seen before. Because if you put them side by side, both the old model used for the uh, Legendary Edition as well as the new model in the new teaser trailer, again they could have just added and updated things. For example, if they are working with Unreal Engine 5, they can just add things in that weren't there before and it can't really indicate a time jump. For example, we'll have, when this next game comes out, hopefully in 2024, 2025, we will have this game being developed for better hardware, such as PS5, Series X, and PC. Also, trailer CGI footage does look different from in-game, plus the fact that the trailer footage is subject to change, as I said earlier, and this entire scene, everything that we've seen in this trailer, could not appear in the like in the actual game's release. We've really got to wait for the actual game's marketing campaign to start, then we can see a more clear, uh, clear-cut event, so time frame and characters and whatnot. Another spanner to add in the works here is Arya Talok. For me, in Mass Effect 2 and 3, she's actually rumoured in-game to be around 500 to 1000 years old, but is actually closer to 1000. And as you can see from both the original trilogy and the Legendary Edition, she doesn't really look her age at all. I mean, if you were to look at Arya and tell me that she's close to 1000 years old, I wouldn't believe you. She has no wrinkles, but is 1000 plus years old, so yeah. Her beauty regime must be great. So Liara could have just added wrinkles and crow's feet and this could really have no meaning in the teaser and this could indeed be set so, you know right after Mass Effect 3's ending. However we do actually have some evidence to suggest that the next game could take place 3 to 10 years after Mass Effect 3's ending. In the secret transmission that was shown during N7 Day 2022, the information in the bottom right corner indicates, or at least teases, that the next game could be taking place 3-10 to 10 years after the ending of Mass Effect 3. Plus we have the 
marketing campaign of all the merch on the Bioware official store, as well as the legendary edition. So this could be trying to get fans reacquainted with the original trilogy, as the next game will be essentially Mass Effect 4 and will be set right after Mass Effect 3 and sort of taking place in between Mass Effect 3 and Andromeda. Another thing I'd like to talk about speaking of Mass Effect Andromeda is actually the next game being directly connected to Mass Effect Andromeda. Don't worry I'll go into more details on this, I have got a future video uh, coming out hopefully this week that will dive very much deeper, it'll be like a 10 minute video on this topic, so I will go into it more depth in then. If the next game is set during the Mass Effect Andromeda timeline, if they somehow factor in either time travel or the fact that Liara somehow travelled from the Milky Way to Andromeda, it will have to be at least 600 years in the future, and Liara will have to be at least 600 years plus older. As in the time frame of when the arcs reach the Helios Cluster in Mass Effect Andromeda, it is over 600 years in the future. So that would also have to factor in as well. We also have to factor in that going back to the next game's teaser trailer, the damage of the destroyed reapers and the mass effect relays could also indicate a time jump, because if they've been damaged and floating in space for years and years and years, this can indicate there is a hundred years in the future. Other than that, the N7 logo on the armour, this is, this is sort of contradicting that as well, but the N7 logo on the armour that Liara finds is in very good condition. And if you were to factor in that this is potentially hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years in the future, then I don't think the N7 logo and the armour piece that she picks up would be in this condition at all. I, I think the colours would have degraded, the material would have completely worn down and degraded. You could make an argument that it's in the snow and ice, so it could be sort of preserved somehow, but I don't really think metals do that, do they? Or some metals at least. I feel like the N7 logo, at least with the red on it and the, the white and the silver and the chrome, I don't think it would be in that good of condition. Lastly as well, Liara smiles when she picks up the armour. She could be remembering or at least reminiscing of her time with Shepard and the Normandy crew, but this could also indicate that she could be looking for Commander Shepard, which could be the core plotline of the next game. The We could be either playing as Liara directly, or only for like the first mission, where we see Liara on the search for Shepard on this icy planet. The first teaser trailer all the way back from the Game Awards is framed as if Liara coming to this planet was intentional and she's looking for something this was intentionally done this was intentionally framed in the trailer and this has actually been confirmed by Michael Gamble on Twitter he has said that everything in this trailer was there for a reason so could this be something that for example Liara is coming to this planet could she be looking for something or someone is she there looking specifically for Shepard's armor or Shepard themselves if so then why is the armor on this planet because again we have no indication or confirmation that this is Shepard's armor however the N7 logo the N7 armor is so linked to the it's so linked to Commander Shepard I can't see it being any other N7 operative Personally, I think this could indicate that the next game is set 3 to 10 years after Mass Effect 3, because as, as I said earlier, if you go into all of the merch and if you look at Bioware's actual activity, I think that they want us, you know, playing the Legendary Edition, buying the, the merch of Garrus, Tally, Ashley, Caden, whoever, because they want to get us reacquainted with those characters and the Milky Way to get ready for a new trilogy set in the Milky Way galaxy. Now personally, I'd actually love to see a game that somehow combines travel between both the Milky Way Galaxy and Andromeda, but I can't see a plausible way of doing this without it getting extremely messy with time travel because, like I said earlier, it takes 600 years to get to where they are in the Andromeda timeline, so I can't see a way of having both crews meeting up, plus that gets into fan fiction territory a bit there, but personally I do think it is closer to the original trilogy's time frame, but at the same time there is the possibility that Bioware have been teasing because obviously we have the Godspeed Pathfinder in the teaser trailer in the background plus Michael Gamble has confirmed there is a shot in the trailer that shows both Andromeda and Milky, the Milky Way galaxies he said that again this was intentional so it will be linking to Andromeda in some way again I'll go over that in its own video but we don't know how Liara is older there's only really two 
possible circumstances here. She's a, she's either three to ten years older. This takes place right after Mass Effect 3's ending, or this is 600 years plus in the future, potentially even more, 700, 800, and this then links to Mass Effect Andromeda somehow. Anyway, everyone, tell me in the comments how old do you think Liara is? Do you think she's sort of three to ten years older, or do you think she's hundreds of years older? As I've said, on her face you can see visible wrinkles, crow's feet, blemishes which do indicate that she looks older, plus we have that interview with Game Informer where they've said that they've spoken to a spokesperson from, sorry, a developer from Bioware and they have actually stated yes Liara is older in this shot and they more meant considerably older as well if you watch the whole um, sort of hour long video that that interview's from, I'll link that in the comments, they do say that, that you know it's hundreds of years older not you know a few years older so again but take that with a pinch of salt as it's not been confirmed by Bioware so anyone thank you so much for all the love on all the Mass Effect videos I really appreciate it and for more Mass Effect theories speculation news uh, stay subscribed stay glued to the channel I've got loads more coming soon thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>